Hello and welcome. Some people have been asking in YouTube comments how to make Shotcut open its project files automatically, the .mlt files that you have on your computer. Once you create a project and maybe add a video, add it to a timeline, and then save, not export, but when you save this, let's for example call this um, my cat. So if you go to your documents, here we go. So here you have the mycat.mlt file, but if you double click it, you get this, because a shortcut is not associated with this file format yet. What you can do is go to more apps, scroll down, click look for another app on this PC, and then it usually will set you directly to C program files. If not, go to C and program files, and then go to shortcut. Here it is. And then just double click shortcut. All right, and that's how easy it is. Now, all these files are associated with Shortcut. And if we hit Control R, you can see the icon immediately. So that's how you do it. Another way to do this is to right click the file, go to Properties, and then over here, the type of file opens with, this one is empty or has something else written here, then you can just press Change. And then you can again do the same thing, scroll down if there's more options, click more apps, scroll down, go to look for another app on this PC, pick the app. And now let's pretend you use the portable version, which would be in downloads for my case, for example. Here I have it extracted over here. And the exe file is uh, down here, shortcut.exe. So we can just copy this path and then click here, open with, we can click it, put it here. Or we can navigate here directly, download, shortcut, 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 and just hit open. And now press OK, and now the file is associated as well. Just go back to documents. So this is it. This is how you make shortcut be associated with the .mlt files on your computer. And uh, the file extension will probably also disappear once you do this. But I recommend you keep them on. All right, I hope this helped. Please subscribe to support this channel and I'll see you next time. Until then, ciao.